Charlemagne here again with another tutorial. This time we are making these match boxes with collage strip pullouts. This is actually a more compact and travel friendly version of the collage receipt rolls that we've been making for the past two weeks. Let's begin. Of course we're gonna need strips so you can try different types of papers so I like to play around with the different textures, different types, and it doesn't matter, you can upcycle or recycle old sheets. Specifically, I'm using craft paper and also grid paper and newsprint. The length doesn't necessarily matter, it depends on you. You can go as long as you want or as short as you want. But the width that I'm using here is 4 centimeters roughly because I'm using this as a basis for the sizes of my matchboxes. These are release sheets. This idea actually came to me while I was making this video. I thought I could make a mini sticker book inside the matchbox using these release sheets. These sheets are actually recycled. They are the backing of these large washi sheets that I got and they work really well as release paper to a sticker book. Let's begin with the backing. I'm using this index card. You can use sturdier cardstock or any type of cardboard, but this is the only thing that I have handy right now and it actually works. So I put a mark at 4.5 centimeters. So I am making two match boxes right here. For the measurements, I will just write them on the index card just so you have a guide. So for reference, the strips that we prepared are 4 centimeters. So this gives us an extra allowance of 0.25 centimeters on both sides. And using the marks as a guide, we draw a line at the 4.5 centimeter point to create that width. Now we make the marks for where we will fold our matchbox. So from the top edge, it's 1.5 centimeter. And then going down from that point, I put in 0.2 centimeter, followed by another mark which measures at 7.5 centimeter, followed by another mark which measures at 7.5 centimeter then followed by another mark measured at 0.5 centimeter and then for the last mark where we actually cut the index card we measure it from that point to 7 centimeters then using those marks as a basis we just draw lines as our guide as i've said the measurement ends after that 7 cm mark so we just cut that one off then using any blunt object that you have lying around, you can create creases on the lines that we've created. Actually, I'm not quite sure if this is the right way to do it. In hindsight, I could have covered the index card first before I made my measurements and creases. So you can actually do it that way. So actually, the reason why I'm covering up both sides with book paper, apart from the whole aesthetic look that I'm going for, is because the index card isn't too thick so adding these layers of book paper sheets will in theory make the base of the smudge box more sturdy after covering it up i cut out the index card shape After doing so, I just feel around for the areas which I've done my folds initially. I reinforce these folds by making the creases more prominent. Then I cut the thing in two at the 4.5 centimeter mark. And I finally finished the base for the matchbox that we will be using. So I will use two of these and I'm using the side with the yellowish book paper and the other one with the newsprint on it. Now it's time to decorate the matchboxes. To add embellishments, I'm using the collage receipt roll that I created. 
created. So these are actually life-changing rolls because I can just peel off the collages and just stick them on there. Not much thinking and easier for adding embellishments to anything. If you haven't seen it yet, I do have a tutorial for these collage receipt rolls. I'll put a link down below so you can go check that out if you're interested. And then when done, I just trim off any of the excess from the collage. And then it's time for the collage strips. So I just put them all together like this. So I'm just eyeballing this one. I measured it up to the size of the matchbox and folded it upwards like so and this is the trick right here because you need to leave a space as to where you will clip on the stapler so when you do the second fold leave at least about almost one centimeter on top of that fold and then just continue folding now that you have a rough guide as to where the sheets fold pull them out separately and just strengthen the creases or the fold marks. Do this for all other strips. When you're done doing this, just put them back into the matchbox as you can see on screen in the order that you would want them to be seen. Make sure to align the top part very well and then just clip on the stapler right in the middle. And we're done with our pullout, so just tuck in the flap and there you go. Our matchbox collage strip pullout. So here is a demo of how the pullout system works. The other matchbox I am turning into a mini sticker book. So I cut the release paper to 4 cm by around roughly 6.5 cm and I arranged the 6 sheets onto the matchbox and tried to center it as much as I can and then staple it on there like so and just secure the flap. And now I have completed the sticker book so I just pull it out and I have the release sheets on there and I'm just going to be adding stickers on it to make it more fun. Because this one's really tiny, this is a fun filler to include in a pen palette or just a simple journal swap with a friend. Now it's time to decorate the collage strips inside the match boxes. Here is the hyperlapse of the entire process of creating the collage strips. The whole process takes a while, maybe this one took me about 45 minutes to complete. It's actually really fun because it's super random, you don't actually think too much but then you create random beautiful things. To make your collage strips more interesting, use different types of mediums. As for me, I used washi tape, stamps, print-ons, and stickers. And there we have it, my friends, a completed matchbox collage strip pullout. This was a super fun activity and a fun innovation to the collage world receipt that we've all been creating for the past two weeks. I actually came up with this idea because I was super obsessed with the concept of the collage receipt roll and I wanted it to be more compact and more travel friendly in case, you know, this whole lockdown thing gets lifted and by some miracle we finally have a vaccine and can finally freely go to cafes and travel again this matchbox system is something that i would like to carry around with me for my future cafe journaling adventures anyway guys thank you for finishing the video through till the end if you haven't yet do click subscribe so you get updates when i upload new videos every thursday and saturday do enjoy the rest of your weekend, stay healthy, keep safe. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye!